All right, everyone, this is athens Clark County Mayor Kelly Gertz. I'm filming this on Thursday, June 25th, but you're probably watching it on Friday the 26th or later. I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, many of you may know I live in an old house here in town. It was built in 1906, and like a lot of old places, particularly ones that had a bunch of students living in them, it suffered all the typical indignities, um, uh, floors that got beaten to hell at parties, um, plaster walls falling apart, uh, windows knocked out. And so uh, more than 20 years ago, when I started renovating the place, I quickly found out that everything in the house is connected. So when I wanted to move the water heater out of the hallway so that I could refinish that floor, uh, it meant that I needed to do some plumbing and it meant that I needed to do some electrical work, and it also meant that I needed to shore up the, the foundation underneath that floor. And a community is a lot like an old house. Um, everything is connected. And so in recent weeks, we've had so much conversation about public safety and policing, and I think you recognize, as I do, that if we want to make a difference when it comes to public safety and policing, we also have to make a difference in so many other ways in this community. Uh, we have to make a difference in terms of health. We have to make a difference in terms of neighborhood level activity and engagement. And I'm proud to say that the commission voted tonight to approve the fiscal year 2021 budget that addresses many of these things. We'll see in fiscal year 2021 a public safety and community building review that will take a look with fresh eyes on all of the aspects of safety and justice in our community. Um, I very much want to see both a reduction in crime and an elimination of any disparities in the justice system that we see by race or other characteristics. We're going to see in this coming year's budget a middle school youth support program that the Commission has devoted $400,000 to. So at that very important fork in young people's lives, we are providing them with some engagement that's going to mean they are going to be stronger residents in the long haul. We're embedding a third co-responder unit in our police force so that now we have 24 hours of the day covered with a social worker and a highly trained agent. We have a minority employee recruitment program that will be beginning, a minority purchasing agent. We do all this while managing to reduce the millage rate by a quarter of a point, saving you money in this very challenging time. In the same frame, we are also reducing our public utilities fees. So if you have both water and sewer, you'll save at least $100 a year um, in your public utilities bills. And for business owners who've been particularly hit hard right now, we have a reduction in our liquor license fees as well. Among the other things in this budget year are some funds to look at the urban renewal period in Athens. And so tonight I kicked off the first in what will be a series of Athens justice and memory projects. This one around the Linentown neighborhood centered on Cloverhurst and Baxter Street. And I anticipate it's going to be the first of many opportunities we take as a community to ask ourselves, what are the lessons learned from the sins of the past? And how do we effectively move forward now with those sins prominent in our mind? We also tonight approved a six month closing of College Square. And in conjunction with that, widening of the crosswalk between College Avenue and the Arch, which is going to mean that the Confederate obelisk moves to the battle site of the Battle of Barber Creek. Um, where somebody who wanted to visit it can do that, but it won't be an affront to residents who don't want to be reminded of the sins of slavery in this nation. So we have a lot more work to do there. There's one little thing I would ask of you. Um, in the coming couple of weeks, I am going to take a little time off and sink my toes into some sand. Uh, it's been a busy year, so I'm going to get away for a couple of days. Um, if you do have some reading suggestions, I would enjoy those enormously. Uh, generally speaking, on vacation, I bring some fiction and some nonfiction. Um, so um, anything that you think uh, the mayor of this community could benefit from, 
put it down here in the mayor's Facebook page and um, I will take you up on your offer. Uh, my final offer is that um, when I come back to town uh, mid-July, um, I really want to sit down with more of you uh, in the midst of this pandemic period, in the midst of our racial reckoning and all the community conversations that I've had online. Uh, I've missed seeing you face to face. Um, we know very much now that the safest way we can engage with each other is outdoors where there's low viral load and we can stay 10 or 12 feet from each other and still have a conversation. So if you'd like to sit down with me, please email my office. That is mayor at accgov.com. Setting aside Mondays and Tuesdays from noon to three for some conversations we can have with one another. Um, we can meet outside City Hall. Uh, one of the things I learned when I moved into the office here is longtime City Hall residents call the sculpture here on the corner of College and Washington Chick on the Stick so we can meet over by her um, over at the Greenway or any of our parks where we can safely have a conversation outdoors. So um, please email my office. I would love to set up half hour where we can sit down and have a conversation. Um, wish you all a fantastic weekend and a fantastic 4th of July week ahead. Uh, let freedom ring.